welcome back. Um, so there's gonna be a couple changes this year uh, kayak wise. I sold the native and uh, just wasn't a fan of that system the way the rudder was, uh, just the weight of it itself. Uh, it was just it was a lot to move around. I didn't like those sidekick wheels. I, I really don't know how anybody likes those. Uh, that was just a hassle getting knee deep in the water every time. Uh, so I decided to go with the uh, Recon 120. Uh, so I'll do a combined little video and kind of show you the trailer I built for uh, this year instead of putting it always in the bed and, and going that way. So let me spin you around and take a look. Alright, so this is what I picked up. Uh, Wilderness Systems. Uh, it's the Recon 120 uh, HD model. So this one has your pedal drive. Uh, when it's on the trailer, I keep it in the truck. Uh, it's too expensive to be bouncing around back there. So. Yeah, that's what I went with. Uh, I bought this yesterday, and today was the first quick little outing. So, overall, I mean, I personally like it ten times better than uh, the native. Uh, steers good. Uh, the turning radius is not as sharp as the native was. Uh, that had the boondocks rudder on it, and this being longer, that was only the ten five. So, uh, stability great, steering great. Uh, pedaling was easy. Obviously, I think it's much faster than the native was. Uh, kind of cuts through the water better. Uh, huge storage with the removable bin. I got to make some sort of something for my battery to sit in there. Um, the hummingbird's not even hooked up. It's just on there. I wanted to see if the placement was good or if I needed to add a track somewhere else. Uh, but I think it'll be fine there. I don't really like where the transducer goes on these. Um, so I think I'm going to go with the switchblade arm that Yak Attack makes. I'll try that out first. And uh, we'll give that a shot. So I got the Yeti. Uh, they're a little cargo case, they call it. So I like this to keep this expensive camera in. It's all waterproof, latches tight. And, uh, you know, I've done a whole video on this, but keeps what I bring. Uh, this won't work for everybody. Some people really bring everything with them. I don't bring a whole lot with me, so that's that. The seat is uh, pretty comfortable. I think I got to adjust a little bit. You're kind of lean up against this bar pretty heavy, um, but I could take care of that. I could fix that. Uh, the scuppers, scupper holes. You don't really get any water through them. Uh, even standing up, I weigh 260. And you don't really get anything gurgling up through. I was a little leery how the opening is here, even when the drive's in. And you don't get any water up through there either. They put like a bristle type guard. Like a heavy duty uh, broom almost. And it keeps the splash down. So, that's it for the kayak. Uh, for the trailer. I bought this from Tractor Supply. It's a 5 by 8 uh, I did the mesh floor just so... When the stuff does go on wet, it'll just drip right through instead of staining up and worrying about replacing wood decking. This is fine. I did two inch square tubing, uh, bolted them to the rails, did the, bought the boat bunks, the brackets, uh, so two by fours, some outdoor carpet from Lowe's, and you don't really need it, but it makes it kind of just all tie in and lock together. Uh, much nicer so the gate I was able to unbolt it's a new design they used to the older ones used to have to cut them off they kind of welded a hinge system on so uh, that was nice LED lights uh, this is a weather guard box an eight foot box I picked this up at an auction and actually only paid 80 bucks for it so uh, my longest rod being seven foot six um, I made a shelf system. It's kind of got to organize it. So the rods go up top. And then underneath, you know, the PFD, some baits, water type shoes, my paddle, the action camera, mounts, flags, all kinds of good stuff. And you can fit more. Um, so now that I have the kayak that I want and Definitely not going to be getting rid of this this year, so uh, this might be the one for a while finally. 
So I think this is a pretty good uh, setup and system altogether, finally. So that's what we're going to be running with this year. I don't know if you've seen the other videos, the Humminbird Helix 5 uh, has the side imaging, the down imaging. It's only the Gen 2, but uh, I like it. And, uh, you know, I'm going to learn this one thoroughly before spending the money and getting the 7, 8, or 9 inch. I mean, those are, I'd like to get them eventually, but until now, I think this is a pretty solid setup. Uh, Anyways, if you have any questions on the trailer or the kayak itself, again, this was only the first first outing today, real quick, 45 minutes, and uh, I'll do a more thorough on the water after everything's ran, wires, and some time on it, and uh, if we do any more modifications to the little trailer here, I'll let you know. So, thanks for watching.